Hi everyone, this is PKSO. Let me give you this scenario, and please honestly share with me what you would have purchased by following your usual judgment. Now, let's say there are two condos located side by side, and let's suppose you have enough budget for both of them. Both are freehold condominium projects in a prime district. Condo A is relatively new at about 10 years, hovering at around $2,100 per square foot in price. Condo B is launching at between $3,000 to $3,500 per square foot in price, which is about 1,000 PSF higher than Condo A. Assuming both offer large units of more than 2,000 square feet of your choice, which condo would you place your money in? Please bear in mind that this is not a hypothetical question, but a real-life case study to examine common dilemma faced by buyers in the current market. In fact, I would bring you on a journey to backtest this case study and observe the physical attributes that would affect future prices. And this is how I value add to my clients, by offering them more than 16 years of ground experience with real-life case studies, similar to the situations that they are facing. That's how we learn from the past so that we can make better decisions going forward. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Singapore Property TV so that you will not miss future episodes. Drop me a message at 9697-1131 if you need further assistance. Okay, back to our choices. To recall, Condo A and Condo B are located side by side. Both are freehold condos in a prime district. Condo A is selling around $2,100 PSF, while Condo B is launching at around $3,000 to $3,500 PSF. If you have enough budget, which one would you have purchased? Partly to stay and partly with the anticipation of making some good returns a few years down the road. I guess by now, you would have made your decision. So let me now fast forward three years later to year 2021 and show you the results. For Condo A, you would notice that if you have invested around January 2018, your returns are pretty flat three years later around July 2021. Interestingly, if you have the foresight to invest in Condo B back around January 2018, despite the fact that you could have easily paid much lesser for Condo A next door, you are now sitting on very comfortable gains in July 2021. Yes, in fact, so comfortable that two recent sellers in Condo B have made a nice profit of more than $1.6 million within three years of investment after their seller's stamp duty period is over. Now, honestly, tell me, which condo did you choose just now? Are you surprised by what I just showed you? Let me know in the comments below. You see, this is a very interesting case study that I have highlighted to my clients. Sometimes, when you think that you are being smart by choosing something that seems to be a good deal, your opportunity cost can be far much higher than what you could imagine. Well, I guess what's really important is to examine from such real-life examples and think. What are the factors that you need to consider before a purchase, besides just putting all your attention on price? Why are buyers willing to pay 1,000 PSF higher in a neighboring project for stay and investment when there is a cheaper alternative right beside it? What principles do they abide by when making smart investment choices? What are the scenarios that you have to plan ahead when you place a large sum of investment? Are you assisted by someone who had the ground experience, armed with facts and data, and very importantly, the analytical and strategical approach to guide you to a right decision? I would be able to reveal the condos in a private conversation with you, if you get in touch with me on my website singaporeproperty.tv. Yes, visit www.singaporeproperty.tv and reach out to me. I would be offering you the answers to those questions that I just asked and the analytical entry and exit strategy needed when you are looking to purchase your next home. In fact, I will not just be sharing this case study but three different case studies in total and dispel common misconceptions that many buyers hold, very often not backed by enough facts and figures. Such misconceptions not only result in serious opportunity costs, but also prevented many of them from taking advantage of the transformation of the entire market moving forward. With this note, I hope this example triggers more thoughts in you, and I look very much forward to catching up with you soon.